What's going on guys, back at you again, and I'm going to make a Super Bowl pick, and I'm also going to wait until the uh, opening, I guess, announcements when they're introducing the players. I'm going to try to do a live without getting kicked off by YouTube, or I'll just record it as it's happening and just upload it right before the game starts so you guys can see what's going on. But pay attention to all of those looks and all of those shots that we get. So when the players are coming out, pay attention to the way the players are holding themselves, the way they carry themselves, the way they're moving, the way they're looking, the way they're even talking. Like, all that stuff will give you a tell as to who's going to win. Last year, it was clear as day. You can see the Rams were the winners. The Bengals were moping around just trying to get through the game, and the LA had all the life. They were so excited, they couldn't even contain themselves because <clears throat> a lot of guys were first-time winners, so they didn't know how to act. Remember, if you go back to my uh, intros, if you look at Joe Montana's first Super Bowl compared to his fourth, night and day. Same thing with Tom Brady. His first Super Bowl compared to his last or his fourth, you see the difference. He knows how to compose himself the more and more he's been there. So a lot of guys, it's going to be their first time. So you need to pay attention to what they're doing. So with that, that's really going to be the real pick. But right now, I'm just going to make a pick as of now. But I know in my head when I see the introduction, that's really going to be the tell. <clears throat> but you holding the gun to my head, uh, I'll go with the Eagles just because they're the better team. And they kind of remind me of what the Rams did last year with all those uh, transactions, just trying to bolster the team. They ended up getting like four extra D linemen. They got cornerbacks. They got that star wide out. They literally just filled holes that they had from last year like that. And the Rams did the same thing the last year, and they were able to get the Super Bowl. So I think Philly basically followed their construct and did the same thing, and now they're going to reap the benefits. And this is basically what it's going to be like for the next few years. And it's a trend every four years the NFL has. It was the quarterbacks. Now it's build the best team and get the best free agents to make the playoff and a Super Bowl run. That's what we've seen in the last three years. Because even Brady did it, right? <laughs> the, the year before, it was, like, Brady did it, and then the Rams did it, and now the Eagles are doing it. So the year prior was the Chiefs before Brady, right? So that was when... Uh, it was all about the quarterback. Now it's all about the building up the roster. So I think this is going to be the fourth year where they do that. And then next year, it's going to start a new trend. It's usually every four or five years is a new trend. So with that, I think the Eagles are following the trend that's been happening. And uh, they're the team that wins. Because the Chiefs, they didn't do what the Eagles did. The Eagles got players, while the Chiefs, they lost players. They lost their best offensive player, arguably, if they had Tyreek Hill, it would be easier to pick the Chiefs to win this game. But with him gone, if the Chiefs win, that just makes <clears throat> Mahomes' uh, legacy that much stronger. So that's why I was leaning towards the Chiefs, because I think they want him to like be the guy that takes that team down. Like, a one-man show, he did it by himself. He beat this Eagles team. He, triumph he was triumphant and beat them, right? That's what it could be, but I don't know. I think... The Eagles are just so stacked, and their quarterback is good enough. Everyone is good enough to just beat this team. But at the same time, Mahomes could just do whatever he wants because it's the NFL is fake. They could have scripted him to just do circles around the team and just look amazing. So by far, this is the hardest Super Bowl I've ever had to pick, and they made it that way on purpose. But um, for now, we're going to pick the Eagles. When they do the entrances, we're going to get our final actual decision because honestly we don't know what's going to happen we don't none of us do just like wrestling wwf or wrestlemania who's going to win the wwe title you can guess even though it's scripted we don't know who's going to win it could be anyone i can say oh he's going to win but it doesn't matter we don't know vince mcmahon can change his decision right before the wrestler walks on out there the NFL is the same way. They can last night they could have said, you know what, Eagles, you guys are gonna win. They slept easy. Now he wakes up and says, the best have changed, man. We gotta switch the script, Chiefs. So literally, it can go anyway. They could change it at halftime, honestly. Third quarter, fourth quarter. So literally, we don't know. They literally are just gonna look at the money and see where the live bets are going, and then go based off that. That's what they do. So. 
I was, the only time they didn't do that was when they played the 49ers, the Eagles did. But it was clear as day. You can't throw a forward pass. So, of course. But other than that, we're going to stick with the Eagles right now. Uh, yeah, we're going to go that way and then stay tuned around 6, 620 Eastern, my time. Stay tuned for another intro video to figure out if I'm right. But... It's just one of those Super Bowls. I'm just not sure, man. I really am not. So we're going to pick the Eagles. And then uh, stay tuned until later, guys. Thanks for watching.